Hello everyone, Android user here bringing you an app review of the Android app Milestone Overclock. So, so what this app does is that it overclocks your phone so that it will run faster and more efficient. The downside of that is that it would eat up more battery and sometimes if the phone is not suited to run so high it would cause the phone to overheat. I for one know this because if I use this app for more than 10 minutes or so, the phone will get close to around um, 20, around 36, almost 40 Celsius compared to now, which is at 24 degrees. What you see here is that it tells you whether it is loaded or not, and then it gives you the max maximum frequency right now and the voltage. So when you load the module, it will tell you my phone is at 550 and 56 and this dial here it will allow you to overclock your phone to the desired amount so the most is 1200 and by pressing refresh you can tell whether or not it is working so what you do here is you go and apply it after you apply it you, you go back you can refresh it and it says up here what it is at that way you know when you're using it and you can unload it anytime. So of course, talking, you, you don't really see the magic of this app. So I'm going to run this quite heavy duty game. Oh wait, let me just check. Yeah, it is off. The app is off and I'm going to run this game to show you how much faster it runs with and without milestone overclock. Right. Note the loading time and later you will see the speed of the car itself. And I chose this application because this application does require a lot of um, memory and RAM. And it does take up, it does cause my phone itself to lag sometimes. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't keep it running in the background if I'm listening to music because it would lag. Alright, so... As you can see, there's some lag right there already. And as the screen tries to load some images, it will start to lag. Let me just see if I can show you any more lagging sequences. Although, I think you saw it in the beginning already. Alright, sometimes when it loads, see right there, there's some lag right there. Alright. So let me just get out of here. Okay, back. Let me close it. There we go. And let me load this milestone overclock application. So I'll load it at 1200. Although 1000 is already sufficient. Most people will say that it's already sufficient. Let me go back. You can already tell the phone is a lot faster. But just to make sure. Note the loading time and the speed of the frames. See right there, it reloads quite quickly compared to before, as you can see. Ah, right. You try and run. It's probably not going to be the same track because it's a normal race. Nothing happens. It's not career mode. Ah. As you can see, there is virtually no lag at all, which is great. And uh, everything's running smoothly, which is also quite nice. And uh, that's it. Just go a bit longer. show you see even when there are other cars there is no lag at all running it because of this app solely because of the milestone overclock application all right, th all right that's enough <laughs> okay to unload it you just click here here is the auto load for when you want it 
to be booted on the selected frequency. So if you use that, then the next time you turn on your phone, you won't have to dial this on. It will automatically work. As you can see here, I'm going to load it again to show you. It is back to normal, 550. And I can overclock it. Also, the farthest one, the custom frequency, is that you can go to settings and choose um, custom settings and compare it to default but I don't use that normally so I often use these use this app for um, more high demanding uh, Android applications because it does make it run more smoothly and as long as I'm not using it for too long it will work quite well thank you for watching this is Android user and I'll see you next time